Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be continuing to build the Lego Marvel Avengers set 716164, the Iron Man Hulkbuster versus the AIM agent, or AIM agents as it is as the case may be. Um, if you've seen the previous video, you'll see it got cut short. That was due to some technical issues I was having. So now I've got past those, um, I, will be I will be continuing the build. We're halfway through bag number two at the moment which is all in here. This is the rest of the, uh, the Hulkbuster. We'll put these over here. Got loads of small fiddly bits. So we've got bag number two and the stickers here. We'll get building. Now we're now going to build the um, knee joints, the other knee, the knee joint for this side here. Put that here and then. So we start off with a, a two by two piece like so. A brown one by one and a green right angled piece with a red 2x2 two two right angled piece and a red hook and a ball joint connector goes on there we have a dark red uh, one by one with two red hook, hook connector pieces and a green stud like so. Green, uh, grey, green, right angle piece which goes on the top here, and a, another red hook, like so. I put this on the wrong pit, so. Have a red sloped piece like so. Yeah. That bit didn't connect. Could be careful with that. So got one of these little connector pieces goes on here. couple of droid arms go in the middle here like so as you can see and we have a gold cone piece goes on here then two I think it's grey studs go on here yeah I've got them there then it's a little uh, connector piece goes on the back there Followed by a roofing piece goes on there. I almost lost that brick there. A bit heavy handed. Put a, we put sticker number eight on here. And 
there. So a couple of gold coloured pieces go together on here to help make the knee joint. And there we have our other knee joint. Same as, pretty much the same as the other one, but just the other way around. And then these connect onto these pieces here. I'll do this quite carefully. There we have our knee and, knee and leg joints on the bottom there. It won't, the whole buster won't stand up yet, so. Next, I believe we're making the the, the foot, I think this is the foot for it, so. So we start off with one of these uh, smooth four, two by twos. A couple of green right angled pieces. A two by one with um, lines on it there and an upside down roofing piece goes on there. A red engine vent with a red two by one. Can't see yeah, there we go. Next we got to put a make a ball joint connector, which is there's our little ball and some Technic Lego. It's got to line that up. That's what we have so far. Next we build the next bit of the, well, what I believe to be the foot. So we start off with one of these, a two by, a two by one with the lines on it. We have two of these green two by one with a connector on the end and some red right angled pieces. Then that bit there, which we've just made, goes on top here. Then that's this, this is what we've got so far for our foot. So, next week we've got some, some 45 degree smooth bricks, one goes on the outside, we have a little bit that goes on there and another hook piece and that, everyone's come from that side so so that goes on like so and we have a curved piece which goes on the top then we turn it around and we put our 45 degree piece on the front our four by two, our little hook piece goes on the back and the angles piece goes on there. Then we have a gold little bar that goes on the back here. That's 
goes on the back there and we have a spoiler piece as well which goes on the back like so and that's our foot for our hog buster I'll start that again because it's a I should be able to do it a bit quicker this time so if you want to skip through this bit you, you can but you might miss me making a mistake so sometimes it's worth sometimes it's worth what it's worth um, watching it just um, watching my videos just to see that so we've got that bit there we put the little ball joint on next so particularly technic connector in there That bit goes on the top there. We have our next bit that goes on here. The two right angle pieces, like so. Now we can start putting the right angle piece and I'm going to do this a bit quicker now because I have done this once before so obviously um, if you're unsure always go by the instructions but sometimes it pays off second foot so good start this will be sitting in a box for a, for a little bit so connectors in this is quite a well-built mech so far really I'm not a big fan of mechs but this one is looking quite good at the moment so here we have it that's our mech's got now got legs as you can see got a couple more little bits to put on the front here like some toes which are some dark red pieces. That's the, one of the toes. I think these are more for um, stability than, than they're making decorative, but, so, but as long as it works. Here we have our mech so far. Let's go with its toes, as you can see. It does look quite good. But somewhere I've got a war machine hulk buster floating around somewhere at the moment, so I'm looking forward to building that one at some point. So I've got a few spare bits in there as well. Open bag number three up now.
lots of small fiddly bits in here. So we start off by building um, Iron Man himself, Mr. Tony Stark. We'll give him his um, Iron Man. He's got two main looks. Uh, we'll find his help. Find his legs first. Might help. The legs have some nice detailing on them, as you can see. I'll try and show you that. The body just has some nice detailing. Not a lot on the arm, unfortunately, but he's got his like um, Iron Man computer face and his main face. So he has a helmet, like so. It's pretty much the same helmet as the um, re rescue helmet with a slightly different colour scheme and design on it and different colour, but still not, not a bad little figure really. Now, now in this bag we are mainly doing the arms, so there will be some, some degree of repetition involved in that. So we'll make sure the Hulkbuster's on guard duty up there and the aim agents can sort of um, Get their targets in. So we have the first part of the arm, which we start off with one of these pieces here and a Technic connect to piece like that. That goes in there and it makes a noise. So it's got the nice tight connection on it. Got a red hook piece. I'm sure I'll do this the right way around. And a greeny grey uh, two by two right angle piece. Not sure the exact um, terminology for that, but. I will find. I will endeavour to find out. So, next we got another ball joint connector piece. That's what you get in a, in a lot of these mech sets. You get a lot of. Um, there is some degree of um, Technic Lego in there, so it does make. Um, it it does allow for good movement though. So, I think it's all worth it. Next we got to put a couple of red curved pieces on, a four by a two by two and a two by one. Make sure it's the right piece. And we've got to put sticker number one on here. Like so, that's our first part of the arm. The first part of the arm so far. We've got to turn turn the arm over, and there should be a green two by one right angle piece, and a Lego hook connector. some upside down curved pieces to put on just finding the other one now let me turn this around and we got a gold Connector bar and a red piece like that, and that's our that's our arm so far for this one. And that goes on there, like so. That's our Hulk Buster so far. Next, I'll do the next bit, ne the next bit of this one, and so it's it's going to be very similar, but um, some of the pieces will be opposite way round. So I'll 
Check some finding the pieces and putting it all together. A right angled um, two by two goes on there like so. All joint on here. Like so, got the ball joint on there. Now we put the um, curve the curved pieces on top. And we put sticker number one on here. We nearly lost a brick there, so. There we go, let's stick number one on there. Turn this over and you put a green two by one and the hook, the hook connector goes on there. down curved piece now, being here somewhere. There it is, it's the piece I found earlier. Then we turn, that's now connected properly, so the little gold bar goes on there with the red Piece goes on there like so, and this bit here goes in there like so. Here we have our Hulk Buster looking a lot more menacing now. Next, we've got to make the hand. So we start off with one of these pieces and a two by one with a bar connector on it, like so. A two by one with a ball joint, a, a, two, a two by two with a ball joint connector on it. Then we have a red one, one level disc, a gold, uh, what looks like a hand, what would be a hand piece, a dark green two by one, and four of these pieces here. And there's, that's what we have for our hand so far. Put that down here. And now we've got to make the fingers, which are three of these.
three red one by one square flat pieces, like so. Some gold uh, stud, Lego stud pieces, like you collect in the Lego games. And three of these con uh, connector pieces, three of these hook pieces. So we start off with putting this on them. You attach that bit there on there. And that's our finger for the for the build. I'll do this three times, so We've got three of these now, and we attach this to the hand, which you've got here. Like so. Got a build and um, what looks like the top bit of the hand on it next. So we start off with a four by two, one of these, with a green two by one right angle piece, and then two of these pieces here. green two by one goes on there like so a two by three Small roofing piece like this, which goes on the back. Then a red curved piece which goes on the front. And we put sticker number three on here. There are two of these stickers and they are pretty much the same, so. Like so, that's sticker number three on there. Then we have three gold bar bits to go on the top. And we stick that bit on there like so. There's our hands. Not quite complete yet, but it will be. There's a, there's a thumb that goes in there at some point, so we've got to turn this upside down now. And we've got two curve, we've got a ups, an upside down circle piece. We stick two of these pieces on there like so. Then we've got a make the repulsors, which are one of these little mini satellite dishes, a gold stud and a hook piece like that. That piece goes on there like so. This one doesn't look like it has a thumb, so that's the hand complete, so. Oh, 
it does have a thumb, it goes on in a minute, I think. So. Then that bit there goes on there like so. And there we have the, our hog buster now as a hand. We now attach the little thumb piece, which is one of these. A dark red Lego um, hook holder piece and a dark red piece like that to make the thumb and the thumb goes on there like so. And we now have to do that, well, apparently we've got to do that bit twice, so I'm assuming, yes, yeah, so I think I see, I see where they're coming from on this now, so there we have it. What I'll do, we'll have the Hulkbuster there, and I will rebuild this from the beginning. A bit quicker this time, so you can fast forward through this bit if you like, because the only bit that's different on this is the actual thumb, which needs to be on the opposite side of the hand. So, which makes it a lot simpler. Green two by one, your four of these. Like so, there we go, that's what we've got so far. Do the fingers as we did them before, the dark red pieces, the Nope, that didn't go on. Be a bit careful when you're doing this, you don't want to lose these pieces. You might have a lot of spares, but, and there are, and within, within the um, Lego community, there are some people who, who, who will always try and help you out if, um, if you can't get them from Lego or any other sources, but always try to be careful. So, just put the fingers on. These are these mechs are, are quite um, intensive builds, but they are but they are generally quite good builds though. So once they're built. on there like so there we go next we've got to build the the arm a bit for the hand like so that's it that's that bit so far The small right angle piece goes on here. Sticker number three goes on here, which is the last sticker. I'm getting a lot better with putting these stickers on, so. You only, you only tend to get one, maybe two chances to get them on right. That's what I generally find. I don't know what other people find, but. Oops. There's our gold bar. That bit goes on the top there. We flip that over. We have a round piece that goes on here. A 
gold stud piece to make the repulsor. That's what we've got so far for this hand. Then we stick the hand on here. Put the thumb on here as well. There's that brick there and that's our other thumb. That bit there goes on here. That's our whole buster so far. Does look quite menacing. It does look the way the legs stand? It doesn't. It does look quite good as um, as marble mechs go. I've saw the War Machine neck to build from the um, uh, from the first um, Avengers Avengers Infinity. So unfortunately, I don't have that. I don't have that particular model at the moment. So which is a bit which makes life a little bit fun. So we've got to make some little bits that go on the back here. I think these are either fuel or, but they just generally, I think they, they, I'll, I'll accept the fact, I'll go with the fact they just look cool, so. These bits here attach on those clips there. Right, so we've got those bits on the back there. Next, we've got to put the, I think they're shoulder pads. So you start off with, we've got to make two of these. So. I'm going to do these together. Got one of these and one of these. So hopefully it will save a bit of time. Then we've got a gold flat piece with a middle stud in it. So one of those and one of those. Then we've got two of these on each one, on each end. Like so. Then we've got to put four of these round pieces on here. Um, this is where Rescue's um, mini vehicle attaches to the to the armor. I'm not sure where Lego got actually got the design for this from, or whether they made it up, whether Marvel did, but it does look quite good. So that's what we got there. I'm going to put these bits on here as well now. Like so. Next we got um, the actual sh um, shoulder, shoulder pad bits to go on to make. So we start off with one of these, a red hook piece. They used a lot of these in this set, so make sure I get this on the right way around. Then you stick one of these on it, like so. These were, they used to use these parts as headlight headlamps back in the day when I used to build. Hang on. 
I think I've done, I'm not sure I've got this bit the right way around. I'm just going to check. Yeah, that's right. Then you put another connector piece on there. Another Lego hook. Put this bit on the wrong way round. It's a very interest, very integral bit of design. This is. I'll show you this in a minute when I'm sure I've got it right. So you've got that bit goes on like that. Then you put a dark red curve brick on here, like so. I'm gonna make sure this one goes the same way. That bit's right, that bit's right, and now that bit's right. So we've made two of these. These bits go on the side here, like so. Other side goes on here like so. Then take a right angled brick on this side here like so. Just want to show you that. You both see that in the light there. A, a red, smooth, right angled piece goes on there. A piece goes on there then turn it the other turn these both the other way round and do the same again put the right angle pieces on there and we should hopefully nearly there Thank you very much for bearing with me on this video. I will be doing a, a review video of this one as well, due to the um, technical difficulties I had at the beginning. And these bits here, attached to these uh, gold bar bits on the arm here, They can go either side. And here we have our completed Hulk Buster. They've got little, little pictures of all the other cool sets that were uh, that Marvel released in this year. But some of them, they got like the heli, the new Heli Harrier and stuff like that within this series. So the Avengers Tower I probably would have gone for, but I probably still would at some point. But the heli carrier is actually quite cool. It does have lots of cool figures with it, but I think they're exploiting the um, aim angle on this set. So Iron Man himself goes in here. I think he sits in here. Isn't it? So 
Iron Man goes in there, rescues vehicle can go in there. And there we have our Hulkbuster. It really does look quite good with our aim. But the Hulkbuster itself is, um, it has been done, but this one has been done quite well, especially for the, uh, at the price point as well. Because it does, if it was Hulkbuster in itself, um, I probably would be a bit reluctant, but, because it had this little um, mini sled thing for rescue, though she, though she has a suit of armor. I do actually think this, this does actually work quite well as a as a battle unit. And if you could get a, fit a couple of these on here, maybe um, maybe with a couple of, uh, with so, someone else in armor on there, would be quite cool. Maybe not War Machine, because War Machine would be the thing that have his own armor, but I'm a War Machine fan and I do apologize. <laughs> and we got our aim agent with his, um, with his flying flying unit, which is quite cool, that out of the missiles, and we have our aim agent with his weapon. These are all these are all these are all these are all quite good figures, and overall, overall, quite a good set and very good value for money. Um, I will be doing a quick review video, like I said before. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, I do apologise that the um, that video number one didn't end didn't didn't end properly. That was due to. Um, technical issues with my um, filming equipment, which I do apologise for. Uh, if you have any comments or feedback on this video, or, um, do, do feel free to leave them at the end of the video. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe to, subscribe to me either on YouTube or Instagram. Uh, if you do leave a comment, I'll try to give you mention on an upcoming video. If you um, if you leave a a relevant comment and not a weird one, which I do get a few, but but like I say, um, I, I just I just I leave those. So stay safe, keep building, and I hope very much to see you on an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.